Many concerned parents come to me and ask, are we too late for the treatment of craniosynostosis? We have been going around multiple pediatricians, they've all told us that nothing to be done and now we feel that the deformity is still there and it is worsening. Are we late? Are we late for a treatment? So that's the very common question that we get and we usually reassure that there are many options that are available even if somebody comes to us late for craniosynostosis treatment. Now our usual protocol as you all know and I have multiple times in our channel we have repeated this. We would prefer a child with craniosynostosis to come to us before six months of age so that we can do our signature endoscopic strip craniectomy and helmet therapy. That is the smallest operation, safest operation with same results. But if they are not able to come to us before six months, we do open surgery. And this open surgery is done any time after nine months. Now we prefer to do it between nine months and one year of age. But this surgery is available to a child for as long as at least 12 to 15 years of age if the child really requires it. So there is no end point of where we can tell that okay now you don't need any treatment or we can't do any treatment. There is always something that we can do. If deformity is the problem we can always do corrective surgeries and touch-ups but if there is raised intracranial pressure then definitely a transcranial open procedure is required. So don't worry if you have been going around and clueless about uh, the treatment of craniosynostosis until now and you even if you feel that oh you're too late please consult a proper craniofacial surgeons there are options available to improve the deformity as well as well as functionally improve the condition of the brain.